You've got mail. Can you explain what internet is? Cutting edge of technology. The internet is now big enough to matter. We launched a new and improved White House website. What is this main artery of the information superhighway? The internet. Going surfing on the internet. The first wave really was just building the internet. Building the infrastructure, the software, the servers, the networks. Just getting people comfortable and kind of getting them on that on-ramp to the, the internet. The second wave has been building on top of the internet building the apps and the mobile connections that allow you to do things that really start improving your life. Third wave is really integrating the internet into every aspect of our lives in increasingly seamless and sometimes even invisible ways. Now, how does it change healthcare? How does it change education? How transportation, energy, food? I wanted to make sure whether you're an entrepreneur trying to think about a company in the third wave or whether you're a corporate executive trying to figure out how to position your company for the third wave or even if you're a policymaker in government. Steve Case, who from the day I came to office has been working with me uh, on promoting entrepreneurship here in the United States and, and now overseas. Steve exemplifies what it means to be an entrepreneur. So he's the perfect messenger for this aid, which is anybody can be an entrepreneur. Anybody can connect to technology. And as Steve goes around talking about the third wave, he inspires people to be part of that. Our winner is Parkex. <laughs> Stuff is not going to happen overnight. It's going to be a lot of long days, long nights, a lot of disappointment. But we believe that if we put in the time now, we'll see the reward later. I think it's worth remembering that 250 years ago, America itself was a startup. And now, if fast forward 250 years, uh, we're the leader of the free world because we have the leading economy. I think that can continue, but it's not guaranteed. That's one of the reasons I wrote this book, to try to provide a roadmap to help people navigate through this third wave.